Good morning to every single one of you. Good morning. It's a English broadcast. English broadcast for everybody that is watching. Segmento en inglés. Segmento en inglés, señores. Segmento en inglés. Segment in English. Segment in English. Good morning to everybody. Good morning, good morning. We'll wait for some people to jump in. Segment in English for everybody that is watching. We'll wait for some people to jump in in the feed. I will do my segment in Spanish later on this afternoon. Do segment in Spanish. I have a segment in Spanish in the tarde. Siempre hago noticias in la mañana in English. Y después en la tarde hago en español. I always do uh, top of the morning in English. Then late in the afternoon, I do Spanish. Good morning to everybody. Good morning to everybody. How's everybody doing? I'm Oscar Blue for Puerto Network News and America's Voice News. How's everybody doing? God bless our country of Mexico. God bless a city or Tijuana and God bless the United States of America. Let's thank God for another day for giving us two legs, two arms, a mind that we can think, a heart that we can feel, and eyes that we can see, everybody. Watery eyes every day going to work. <laughs> My God, I'm so out of uh I'm so out of hours right now. I was two hours, you know, it's two hours forward going into Ciudad de Mexico and then you know coming back and trying to adjust. My time is crazy, but we are here. We're going to work again. We have to go to work and uh, and on our way to work as we do every day. We give the news to every single one of you. How's everybody doing? God bless you guys. Super chat. It's on the bottom. People that want to donate and contribute to my work. Thank you so much. Super chat is on the bottom for people that want to donate and contribute to my work. Good morning to everybody. Mail in ballots. <laughs> Wow, mail-in ballots, the new way, and the new uh, strategy from the left. I made a really funny video. I have a character, which her name is Dorothy, and I made a really funny video. For me, it's funny. For a lot of people also, it was. But Dorothy, it's a liberal who explains to another liberal that they they are getting beat every day and you got first it was the Russian collusion then it was the Mueller report then it was the John Bolton book then uh, you know it was the impeachment then after the impeachment it was the you know the Federal Reserve then after the Federal Reserve you got the pandemic then after the pandemic you got black lives matter the strategy you know this it is all a strategy then uh hold on then after you know seeing black lives matter in the strategy now you get mailed in bullet mailed in ba mailed in ballots amazing it is unbelievable what the left and the Democratic Socialist Party is doing now. Just as a matter of desperation. And the statements that they were released this weekend by the New York Times, by the LA Times, and also by left, left critics, CNN, <laughs> all fake news, and MSNBC, they are saying that 54% of the population of the United States of America is going to vote in mail-in ballots. Wow. Mail-in ballots. That is the only way. You see Alexandria Ocasio supporting the United States Postal Service. I support the Postal Service. Okay, yes, because that is the most corrupt way. And that is the only way that you are going to win. That is the only way that the elections are going to win. For a lot of people that they don't know how politics is happening in the borders. 
the, the politics are acting in the borders. Uh, hold on a second. Let me address this comment real quick for the Mexican feed that they are uh, commentating. Haré mi segmento en español por las tardes. Muy buenos días todos compatriotas. Eh, en las mañanas, como siempre, hago segmentos en inglés. Y en la tarde hago segmentos en español. Alrededor de las 6 o 6.30 de la tarde haré el segmento en español. Tiempo Tijuana. Buenas noches a todos. Saludos. And Melden Body. I'll say it to everybody that I do segments in English and the mornings and segments in Spanish and the evenings now that I'm getting a more audience from, from Mexico and I feel so honored, so honored and so proud. Thank you so much for following. Mel in voting. So going back to the subject, my God, my God, amazing, amazing how now the strategy from the left and they're saying 54%, look at this, 54% of 54% of the population of the United States of America is going to use mail-in ballots due to the fact that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris and the Democratic Party are pushing the narrative of staying home that, you know, Anthony Fauci, that he was practically against Trump, he was saying, you know what, uh, we need to stay, you know, in the vaccine and la la la. Anthony Fauci completely changed his mind due to the fact that modern industries uh, did, a, did a testing and it came out with a side effect their vaccine side effect that it was affecting spine a glandal was this big and it was affecting the spine of a woman and then another woman and then another woman so there was a side effect and, and then it came out and saying the administration of trump is the best administration to take care of the plan to help the you know to help uh the country after that you get Anthony Fauci giving, coming out and saying declarations and giving statements saying it's okay to go out and vote, just wear a mask. You can go and vote wearing a mask. It's amazing. It's amazing. So after this, you get mail-in ballots. Mail-in ballots is an absolute strategy for corruption and for absolution of your constitutional right. That is what is going to happen. This statistic that of 54% of the population that is going to vote for mail-in ballots, if that happens, God forbid, everybody, God forbid, if that happens, my God, God forbid, Joe Biden has the possibility of winning. God forbid. It is exactly like Hillary Clinton was up in the ballots uh, back in the, uh, it was it was up in the elections back in 2016. And, you know, the Electoral College, she was, you know, all the way down. But this is what the problem is with the United States of America in terms of voting. Good morning to everybody. Yes, uh, Super Chat is on the bottom for people who want to donate and contribute to my work. Thank you so much. God bless you. This is what the problem is with voting in the United States of America. In Mexico, we have a voting credential, a voting ID. And it's a voting ID which says, in your case, the social security number, the identification number, uh, the identification number. Also, it says, uh, you know, practically were born, your finger ID, your, you know, your address, and all that. Why the United States? Why the United States is not using that? Why they haven't advanced into that? Into that? Uh, into that? Uh, into that stage? Why the United States of America has not advanced into that stage? Why? I don't understand why. Every country needs an identification to vote and it has to be regulated and the united states of america they don't have to and it's the most powerful country in the world and they don't have it as we have known the immigration laws of the united states of america has a lot of loopholes and also weaknesses 
that is amazing, the most powerful country and the country that everybody wants to migrate, it is their immigration laws that has a lot of open, uh, you know, uh, it has a lot of open uh, locks, open loopholes. And also, in terms of voting, it's all vulnerable. It's all vulnerable. It's, and it's predictable that if it's it's going to happen, they're going to cheat. And with this mail-in voting, if you guys saw where I was this weekend, I was at a protest in Ciudad de Mexico where Mexican constituents and Mexican people, where are you heading, Oscar? I'm going to work. Uh, where Mexican people were protesting against socialism and against this president that is bringing only chaos to our country and there is only more poverty than the poverty that has already passed. So, we were protesting right there. And they blocked every street using police force and violating our constitutional right. That is Article 6 and Article 11. Article 6 says we exercise our, 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 our right to protest and Article 11 says we exercise our right to uh, transit into our country freely. They were violating those two articles of our constitution. And we were protesting. One day and the next day I was there, protesting for two days. What I what what am I where am I going with this? This is where I'm I this is where I'm going. If you don't stand against mailed in voting, they're going to violate your constitutional right. The pandemic, it was made to take away our freedom, people. To take away our freedom, our liberty, by wearing a mask. It prohibits you to enter to convenience stores. It prohibits you to enter to uh, not only to convenience stores, but to go to work. It prohibits you to, it also, it, 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 it labels you as a irresponsible citizen. It labels you like that, as an irresponsible citizen. Also, it labels you as a person that does not want, you know, uh, does not want to, uh, to apply and to comply with rules and regulations by the World Health Organization. It also labels you as a bad citizen. And they're taking away your right. If you are not going to put the vaccine or you don't stay home, they label you as a horrible citizen, as a predictable citizen to infect other people because you're not obeying the rules and regulations. Obeying rules or regulations of what? Of staying home. Why I have to stay home if I am a law-abiding citizen? Where in the Constitution says, where does it say that I have to care? FDA is not the Constitution. The World Health Organization, it is not the Constitution. Why are we have to be obligated to violate our rights? This, this right here, mail-in voting for the United States of America is the first step for violating your constitutional rights and taking away your freedom. The land of the free and the home of the brave, the land of the free is not gonna be land of the free anymore it's going to be the land of the control of the populated that is what it's going to be and ultimately their goal is so predictable from my optic their goal is for you to understand that you need to stay home and control you yes the virus is a reality people it is a virus that is killing people and it was made in china to depopulate 
It's already a fact. It is, it's, it is it's factable. It's already there. Yes, we know that it was made to depopulate. Now, we cannot, we need to take the predictive, the, the you know, the procedure and the, we need to be precarious with this. To not be infected. Yeah. To wear a damn mask all the time. What the hell? To be. vaccinated exercise and we can digest this virus and, and throw it out we can protect ourselves by you know by eating a lot of vitamins drinking a lot of vitamins there's a lot of solutions other than a vaccine this right here is a manipulation of your constitutional rights this right here it's a manipulation of your constitutional rights why mail in voting is connected with the pandemic, it is all a strategy by the Agenda 2030 and by the New World Order to keep us home, to not go out, to not exercise our freedom. A lot of people don't understand this. They don't get it. They completely don't understand. But it's violating rights every day. This is why 1.5 million people were protesting in Berlin against the enforcement of the mask. This is why a lot of people in, a, in around the world, they are protesting against this violation of our constitutional rights. And now with mail-in voting, there is, you know, a reason for them to have you control. This is why this, this uh, numbers and this percentage numbers that they're throwing out there, that is 54%, 54% that they're throwing out there. It is that 54% that they're saying that they're that they are preferring mail-in voting instead of going out there. There's a lot of factors that they are coming in with mail-in voting. It's not only the pandemic, it is actually the fear tactics of implementing on people's minds that there's gonna be riots, that there's gonna be looting, that it's gonna be Black Lives Matter out there threatening people, threatening white people, threatening people of color other things come with the mail-in voting other things come with mail-in voting it's not only the prevention of the pandemic and the and the being infected by this virus it's not only that it's it's also it is also you know the idea of being attacked by uh, an individual for black lives matter it's also the idea in the in the in the mindset of, you know, preventing of being attacked by an individual for Black Lives Matter or being harassed outside, you better vote for Biden, you better vote for Biden. You know, all of those things taking away your constitutional right with fear tactics. That is how the socialists work. That is how this chaotic, chaotic, chaotic anarchists work. <laughs> uh, Good morning to everybody. I was live right now and they dropped my live feed at YouTube. They dropped it. I know that these uh, leftists, uh, they are completely, uh, you know, reporting, reporting, reporting my live feed. It's okay. I will continue to do another one and another one and another one. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, so, it is completely good morning good morning to everybody my live feed was was dropped right now segmento en inglés segmento en inglés por favor para que gente me acaban de tirar el, el, el video pero estoy volviendo a hacer otro segment in english segment in english for people that are watching uh they just uh they just uh dropped my live feed as i was uh doing my live feed i got still i got 15 minutes uh, exactly the time that I had. We were talking about mail-in voting. We're talking about mail-in voting. Uh, you know, hold on. We're talking about mail-in voting. As it's a, it's taking away your constitutional right. Hopefully, my manager can uh, can can put the, the two videos together. Hopefully, she can. Uh, she can put the two videos together. 
And this is the most incredible thing about mail-in voting, as I was mentioning. It's one step. It's a one step closer. It's one step closer for you to, it's one step closer for you to take away your human right, your God-given right, that is freedom. That is your God-given right. God gave you that right. You were born free. And mail-in voting, practically what it's going to do is tell you to don't go out. But you got protesters. You got protesters continuously, continuously outside infecting other people. And remember what I told you before, there's speculations of peaks of COVID coming in between the months of September and the months of November, August and November. They're already happening in Europe. Europe, the European Union has reported that the World Health Organization has said that 10% of the population of Europe has gone up due to infections of COVID. It is the World Health Organization. Who believes them? You know, practically people that have a conscience, nobody believes them. But it is speculated. And now that we are understanding and ultimately we know their goal to keep us home and take away our freedom and our right. Now they're trying to do that in the United States of America with mail-in ballots. And it's unbelievable. And they're so predictable for us to understand them. They are so predictable, really predictable that they're trying to take away your right. Listen, hopefully they can uh, put together the two videos uh, the two videos that I did right now in the morning, uh, they dropped my live feed right now. They dropped, they dropped my first live feed as I was, uh, as I was talking to the audience. Uh, so they dropped the first live feed, but I'm doing another one right here. Hopefully they can put it together. Listen, this is what is happening. If that number is right, that I'm not saying that is right. I'm not saying that is right. But they're saying that 54% of the population of the United States of America wants to do mail-in ballots. If that number is right, there's a lot of corruption that is going to happen in the United States of America due to this election. This is the most important elections in history of the United States. It's the most important elections in history of the United States. If you guys think for the new people that they're watching. If you guys think that Joe Biden is the solution for the United States of America, my God, in terms of child trafficking, in terms of pedophilia, in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, cartel activity, in terms of uh, you know international relations with communist countries, in terms of communism coming into the United States of America, it is going to happen. It is going to happen. The strongest country in the world, that is the capitalist country, that is the United States of America, is going to get defeated by this communist people. If people don't realize that they're taking away your constitutional right by doing this mail-in ballots crap. Go out there. Even the leftist radical Anthony Fossey said, if you can go out and vote, just wear a mask. Just do it for one hour. Meanwhile, you're doing the line to go and vote. Exercise your right. Exercise your constitutional right. Remember what I told you guys. This is practically the left and also the elite in the new world order trying, uh, trying to take away your freedom. Uh, buenos dias, Priscilla. Yeah. Good morning, Priscilla. Yeah, they dropped my live feed. The other one. It's okay. I knew that it was going to happen. Uh, you know, I knew that it was going to happen. I knew that they were going to drop my live feed and it's going to be consistent. They're going to keep on dropping it. Uh, it doesn't let us any, any, you know, it doesn't give me other, other, uh, you know, other, other option by recording the live feed and then putting it on, uh, and premiering it, doing a premiere. But I like to congregate and I like to talk to the audience. Meanwhile, we are on the live feed. I love that. You know, because it's like having a conversation with you guys meanwhile I'm doing a live feed. But, you know, uh, if they continue to do that, well, uh, you know, it's it's absolutely, it leads, it leads to me to no option. But I will do one randomly so they will, so I will just, you know, kick them in the butt. 
So uh, this is uh, an incredible, uh, uh, you know, an incredible uh, situation that is happening in the United States. Mail-in ballots, it has never happened before. Has never happened before in history. For everybody that is watching, Super Chat is on the bottom for people who want to donate and contribute to my work. Thank you so much. God bless you. It has never happened in history. And now it, that is happening, it is, it is stunning that the most powerful country in the world, it's really thinking about doing mail-in ballots. It is the first time in history that the world is watching how the United States is so predictable in their voting procedures. And it's, you know, and in a way, it has a lot of loopholes. In this, Donald Trump has said, you go out there and you exercise your constitutional right. Go out there and vote. Take the precautions, but go out there and vote. But you know that the left, the left, and the socialist democratic left has said this, has said, that their fear tactics are implemented for that, to get you afraid. And you know that in the election month or election days, that they're coming, I think that is the 3rd of November when it's election day, they're going to try to do something. So you got the normal average typical citizen that is going out there to vote and it's going to get harassed by Black Lives Matter is going to get harassed by activists of Antifa if you don't vote for Joe Biden. So it is that fear tactic that is already implemented in the minds of citizens. Already that fear tactic is being thrown out there for you to not go out and exercise your constitutional right, taking away your freedom again taking away your God-given right, your freedom. This is why the pandemic was made, keeping us home, home office, working from home office, not congregating social distance, not congregating at, at, a, at an event, not congregating at stadiums, not congregating at a store. You don't have a mask, you can't go in. It is amazing how they're taking away little by little our freedom, our right. And this is the most important thing for you guys to understand. Mail-in ballots, it is a strategy by the elite to have you controlled and to destroy the United States of America and turn it into another communist country. Look what is happening around the world. Why nobody, you guys saw me broadcasting in Mexico, Ciudad de Mexico, in the middle of a protest. You guys saw me how Mexicans, thousands of Mexicans were protesting on that block against, against socialist President AMLO, against this socialist trying to be dictator AMLO, violating our constitutional right of free of transit article 11 of our constitution of Mexico gives us the freedom to transit in our, in our country. He blocked us, he kidnapped us. He created kidnap. He did a crime, he's a criminal. He kidnapped all the citizens. He didn't let us go out, uh, uh, go out and, uh, and get water uh, for people that they're watching uh, las personas que están viendo uh, que en español, just hold on a second las personas que están viendo en español hago segmentos, todos los días hago esto hago segmentos y gracias por seguirme y un abrazo enorme compatriotas hago segmentos en inglés en la mañana y hago segmentos en español en la tarde, en la tarde es cuando hago segmentos en español, alrededor de las 6 o 6.30 de la tarde de Tiempo de Tijuana. Saludos, abrazos a todos via México. And this is the problem that they were taking away 
they were taking away our constitutional right. The president of Mexico came out on this morning on his morning conferences. On his morning conferences, he came out this morning and look what he said. He said this of the protesters, of the protest that it was happening. Look what he said. He said this. A ver cuánto aguantan. Let's see how, how long they will stay there. Wow. Wow. A ver cuánto aguanta, dijo el presidente esta mañana. Let's see how much they can take. Let's see how much they can take. Wow. That is a dictator. That is the words of a person that has been rejected by Mexicans. That is of the words of a person that does not care for Mexican citizens. That is the word of a president that does not care for our constitution. That is the word of a president that does not give an F. Let's see how much they can take. And I wanna see those leaders, he said this, I wanna see those leaders sleeping on those tents. That's why he closed all the avenues. Y dijo, quiero ver esos líderes ahí, acostados, metidos, en las casas de campaña. That's why he closed all those avenues. But do you remember, you dumbass president, tontote presidente idiota, do you remember when you were protesting in the Reforma Avenue? You were not even there. <laughs> And you're talking about these leaders being there? You're not even, you were not even there. You did not even sleep one day on that protest. And they were actually empty tents. And now people are saying that there was empty tents right here. And this protest, I was walking around showing the left and showing the radical you know radical activists that they were infiltrating in my page showing them and telling them you know because they were saying like oh you know uh there's only 10 tents there's only 10. and i said i will flip the camera just to show you that they're not 10. and there was people actual people in there and i was like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten there's your 10 tents let me walk through all avenue this is what is going to happen if United States citizens don't stand for their constitution. This weekend, Mexicans stand for their constitutional right and they violated our constitutional right. Joe Biden has the, it's a puppet of the United Nations, of the new world order and the elite. Joe Biden, it's a puppet. He is a puppet of the United Nations and the elite. It is a puppet. And they're going to do exactly the same as they're doing to you, uh, they're doing to us right now. They're going to do it to you. And they're doing it by, do, by exercising their mail-in voting, taking away your constitutional right taking away every constitutional right that you guys have. Go out there and vote and exercise your right. And don't let these communist and socialist leaders take away your freedom. That is your God-given right. Your God-given right. God bless everybody that is watching. I'm Oscar Blue for Border Network News and America's Voice News. You can follow my partner, uh, Conservative Anthony, at his page as Conservative Anthony on Facebook. And also you can follow him at YouTube as Conservative Anthony. Also, you can follow America's Voice News, the voice of the people. Also, Ben Berquan and Frontline America. And also, you can subscribe to my channel as Oscar L. Blue right here at YouTube. And also, you can become a member and receive exclusive content and 
uh, in my channel. Also, you can follow my page at Facebook as Oscar L. Blue. Thank you so much for this morning. Super chat is on the bottom for people that want to donate and contribute to my work. Thank you so much for donating. Thank you so much for helping. God bless every single one of you. I will be doing the segment in English, in Spanish, later on this afternoon. I, like we always say, peace and love, everybody, because always your country's first. And I will direct my last uh, words to the Spanish public. Señores, haré un video en español alrededor de las 6 a 6.30 de la tarde. Eh, el día de hoy, tiempo de Tijuana. Saludos a todos, señores. En las mañanas hago mis segmentos en inglés. En la tarde haré mis segmentos en español. Daré todos los avances de lo que ha sucedido con Frena y las noticias también de la política estadounidense, de la política internacional. Señores, estaremos este, platicando de todo lo que ha sucedido este fin de semana y, este, y hablando también de las organizaciones radicales, anarquistas que existen, no solamente en nuestro país, sino a nivel internacional. Saludos a todos, señores. Recuerden paz y bien, porque su país es primero. Peace and love, because always your country's first.